What's going on, YouTube? I welcome you to What's Wild Out Here, the channel bringing you the wildest stories from around the world. And today ain't no different. So hit that like and subscribe button because it's wild out here. And I'm going to tell you all about it. Today's story comes from London. Three guilty of sadistic murder of woman who was tortured, starved, and battered to death. Two women and a man have been found guilty of murdering a vulnerable woman who was tortured, starved, and battered to death. Shakira Spencer died after falling under the influence of her former neighbor, Ashana Studholm, 38, her lover, Sean Pendleberry, 26, and their friend, Lisa Richardson, 44. The defendants from West London treated her like a slave, scolded her feet, and fed her only ketchup from packets the 35 year old went from being a beautiful happy healthy size 16 to a frail skeletal size 6 shortly before her death last september her badly decomposed body was found after neighbors saw maggots coming from her flat in west london the three defendants had denied murder and preventing mrs spencer lawful burial on Monday, a jury found all three defendants guilty of both charges against them, and Pendleberry reacted by clapping his hands and walking out of the courtroom. Mrs. Spencer had been subdued, dominated, mainly by Stud Home and Richardson, to the point where she was under their complete control. Over many months, she was isolated, prostituted, and robbed of her self respect and finances. She would be woken up in the early hours to clean the defendants' houses and sent on errands to the shops. In early 2021, Shakira Spencer had been a healthy, even voluptuous size 16, weighing 163 pounds. By July 2022, Shakira Spencer was just skin and bones, gaunt and skeletal, bruised from head to toe, with hollowed black eyes. She was barely a scrawny size 6 in images taken just before she died. For whatever was their unfathomable, cruel, sadistic motive, these three defendants tormented, tortured, starved, burned, and eventually battered Shakira Spencer to death. The abuse reached a frenzy climax on around September 11th and 12th last year when Miss Spencer was beaten to the brink of death at Stud Holmes' home. She was bundled into the trunk of Pendleberry's borrowed Honda Civic car and driven back to her flat, where she was locked in a hallway cupboard. Ice was packed around Miss Spencer in an effort to slow decomposition. Newspapers were carefully laid on the floor next to the bed as if Miss Spencer had been reading and died in her sleep. An alternative plan to dispose of the body in the caravan was abandoned because the defendants could not risk moving her due to the state of decomposition. As part of the cover-up, the defendants cleaned the victim's blood, bodily fluids, and DNA from their homes and removed all traces of their presence from Mrs. Spencer's flat. It was only when neighbors saw maggots crawling out from under her door that the police were called to Shakira's address on Sunday, September 25, 2022, and the painstaking investigation which ensued revealed in detail what they had done. A pathologist was unable to identify exactly how Mrs. Spencer died due to the poor condition of her body. A post-mortem examination found crushing injuries to her ear, cuts to her scalp, and scolding wounds to her feet. Pendleberry said he found Mrs. Spencer in a bad way inside a cupboard and gave her soup. Pendleberry said he only found out Mrs. Spencer had died when Studholm called him. Richardson blamed Pendleberry for what happened and Studholm declined to give evidence in her defense. Studholm had three prior convictions for assaulting women in London, as well as multiple shoplifting offenses. Pendleberry had previous convictions for drug offenses, handling stolen goods, and assaulting two police officers, while Richardson had one conviction for cultivating cannabis. This is a wild story, y'all. Let us know what y'all think about these people in the comments. And like always, stay safe and stay aware. And remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time on this wild out here.